Okay, I thought you were gonna start. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Little Big Bro Podcast. Uh, my name is Leo, the little bro. And I'm Hector, the big bro. And uh, today we are on episode 13 of Avatar The Last Airbender. The, the Blue, Blue Spirit. Spirit. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> That's uh, such a great episode. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Oh yeah, I, this is little. I think this is the one episode that kind of was like almost like a one for one in the live action one on Netflix. Like, I think so. Yeah, they they were. I mean, I personally still think the the animated. I don't know. I think just the animated show just hits it a little bit better. Yeah, but. It was, they did it, yeah, it was, it was really, uh, I, I enjoyed the live action. Yeah, they did really, they took perfect elements from the episode, the animated episode, and yeah, yep. did justice to it on the live action. I was like, pleasantly surprised. Okay, yeah. well, without further ado, right. let us <clears throat> this uh, rewatch together. <laughs> right, one, two, and three. Two. Two, two, one. Ooh, I think this is the first time we ever see like uh, one of their messenger hawks. Oh yeah, I love the little messenger hawks. Right, that has to be a hybrid of something, right? Like a hawk eagle or something. Like two birds. Oh, and these guys are my favorite. So the messenger hawk is going and uh, to a fortress and uh, where uh, General Zhao and uh, who's the other guy? Uh, just like a, uh, Colonel Colonel Shinu. Shinu, yeah. Um, so they go and I guess he stopped by and they're showing <clears throat> these archers. The Yuya. Yeah, th- they are awesome archers. Yeah, like the most talented. I think Zhao at one point says that they can pin, they can pin a fly from like a hundred yards out without killing it. A fly's wings. Yeah. <laughs> It was just that's nuts, and I like this part because Zhao's talking to this. He's Commander Zhao. He's talking to the col- Colonel, and Zhao's requesting the archers because he wants to use them. And then the Colonel's, colonel's are like, "No, you can't have them. They're my archers. You don't take them." Yeah, like <laughs> he gets in his face. Like, what? Like, what do you think you're overstepping? And and, and then, then the, the messenger, messenger hawk comes in. Yeah, lands, and then. Uh, General Zhao then becomes Commander Zhao. Yeah, no, Admiral. Admiral Admiral Zhao. Yeah. And, and like, one's like, he, he does a good way of doing it. He's like, well, my request now becomes an order. You're like, oh, <laughs> dang. Oh, yeah. And then back to the to the end gang. Poor uh, Sokka is catching a fever. Mm-hmm. Which I was, you always wonder because I was like, they never send seem to get sick, and they're always doing all this stuff, and well, yeah. it just happens. Well, technically, like yeah, technically, the previous episode was the storm, so he did he would get sick because he was out in like right. the rain in the storm on the on the water. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, so now they're taking care of. Him. I love how he, he's like. In his sleeping bag, but like curled up inside of Appa, which is kind of cute. It's like it's like Appa's just like a big dog. Uh oh! And then Katara's coughing too. You'd mm-hmm. think that they'd be prone to this type of sickness because they are from the Water Tribe and they are in intense cold. That's true. But <laughs> but well, what's the one thing that always gets people cold? Is like when the the change in temperature, right? So if it's like hot and then you're really cold, yeah. Is gen- you're gonna get sick. Yeah, that always messes me up. Take that, you rock! So Aang's about to take off and, and and I guess go try and find them some medicine or something. And he was about to like fly, and then he realized uh, I'd rather walk. Mm-hmm. I, should, I guess I should walk because there's like a lightning. Yeah, but he has like super speed. It's kind of fun. <laughs> he just uses his air bending to run fast. <laughs> Uh, then we go back to Zuko, and Zuko is on his ship to trying to figure out where to find uh, Appa and Aang, you know. And then they get overtaken, not even overtaken, but shadowed by, like, a bigger ship, which is 
ultimately, I think it's Admiral Zhao's ship. And telling them, like, or no, the ship person, somebody from the ship, tells them, uh, you know, we're looking for Aang, and anything needs anything that goes for the Avatar, like any information needs to go directly through Admiral Zhao. <laughs> like, and then, I, well, <laughs> yeah, because while this is all happening and and, and uh, uh, Zuko's getting all angry, uh, his uncle is just playing some pie show, you know, and, nice and calm, sit there in the little table while they're all saying all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, and he's winning. And he's a, he's a, such a funny-go-lucky guy. He's like, oh, Zhao got promoted? That's good for him. <laughs> <laughs> and then back to, to Aang and him, him going, it's like some of the... Some of the um, guards were talking stories of the Avatar, you know, and they're like, that's impossible. And all of a sudden, he comes in with his super airbending speed and just goes right through them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's just a myth. He can't turn create tornadoes or run really fast. And then it goes back to um, Sokka and Katara. And so now they're their fever yeah, is making them like get all delusional yeah <laughs> and so so Sokka tries to send momo to go get some water mm -hmm. and you see kind of like momo's point of view just like he he, he doesn't understand him <laughs> so he's just like like that huh? wah, 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 wah. Yeah. <laughs> water. uh and then Aang finally gets to uh uh like a plant lady not even a plant yeah lady. like 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 a, like a healer or like a herb herb healer yeah and she's like you can see she's like making something in her uh in her little pot and telling her like you know earth kingdom troops would come here and i'd you know help them out give them remedies you know make them feel better and ang's like okay he's like okay well like can you help me out like, hurry up. I need help. <laughs> my, my friends are sick. <laughs> and then the old lady's like, huh, this thing needs one more ingredient. So she's like taking her time and just taking her time. And poor Aang's just like. <laughs> it is funny because you don't usually see Aang being impatient. No. It's like rushing. But now, like right now he is. Yeah. This is for, for his friends. His friends are sick. But you just and tell him. Like, mm -hmm. Now it goes back to Zuko. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know Zuko's on top of the of his ship, uh, firebending. It looks like he's practicing or practicing out some frustration, letting out steam. Yeah, ha! <laughs> but um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But and he's so sad. Uncle is asking him, you know, are you okay? And he's just like, you know, he's taking all my Zhao is taking all my resources. And then mm -hmm. this nice moment after he, you know, uh, um, tells his uncle like. With a little bit of what's bothering him, he's then he goes looking at the at the ship from a from uh, the edge, and he's like, "My honor," mm -hmm. and, you know. So yeah, he's, he has that way. fear that he's never gonna get it. Yeah, <laughs> and then he goes back to Aang, and Aang's like, uh, "The lady, little old lady, she has the final ingredient," and he Aang's like, "Okay, thank you." <laughs> she slaps his arm away, just like, "What are you doing? This is Miyuki's dinner." <laughs> like what? What were you making? You were making this the whole time. It's like, yeah. What do you think you're doing? Taking the cure to my friends. <laughs> this isn't a cure. It's me, Yuki's dinner. And um, <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with taking your time making your your fur babies dinner. I do the exactly. same thing. Exactly. <laughs> and she's like, your friends seem to like they all they need is just like some poison, like the the dew or whatever. To lick to lick the the frogs, the um, frog, frozen yeah. frogs. So they need to lick yeah. the frozen frogs because the mucus frogs from their frozen. skin will make them feel better. <laughs> and I love the little part where he's like, "You're a crazy old lady, or you're kind of insane, right?" And she's like, "That's right." <laughs> <laughs> like, you're insane, aren't you? That's right. That's and uh, as soon as as Ang steps out. He's he meets himself up with the archers, so it looks like the archers from uh that Lord Zha, Lord Zhao took over found him. And you see how he's like maneuvering, trying to get away from them. And these archers are like 
like uh you know unstoppable precise. They're, yeah they're, precise yeah. they get they pin him down but he's able to get out he jumps off a cliff and thinking Aang's like oh i'll be fine those archers just jump right off the cliff after him yeah like, they, with they no fear. Their arrows with ropes to like go up on the trees so, mm-hmm. so these guys are i mean they're good this is the they're only good. time they're actually introduced in 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 this show i think it's yeah. the moment they're and only so, really used here. Yeah. Yeah, I wish it would have, you know, been just a little bit more. Oh, definitely. And um, as soon as Aang lands on the floor or at the ground from from where he jumped, he ends up in this uh, goes to trees, ends up in this puddle, and, and then he's all sudden, the frogs. Yeah, he sees the frogs, and the archers are literally pinning him up against a, um, uh, uh, like a fallen tree trunk. Yeah, and it's so like precise. Like they go like over, like over and under his arm, over and under his arm, and then like a net is like oh yep. my god, uninjured but pinned. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think this is the first time that well, now that Aang's captured, this is the first time I think him and Zhao have met. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and it's just fun. It's fun him. It's 12-year-old talking to an adult. Uh, you know, Zhao is just like, we can't be bothered by this 12-year-old. You know, even if he is the avatar, blah, blah, blah. And he's being mean. And he's so evil. He's like, do you, you know, he's like, he's just condescending. And he's like, oh, do you miss your people? Yeah. Yeah, after knowing that the Fire Nation wiped them out. So mean. And he's and like, he tells him. He's like, yeah. I'll keep you alive, but barely. Yeah. <laughs> but Aang does such a great job. He just freaking just blows air and knocks him into the freaking wall. <laughs> and that's the time. Well, you see, this is where you first... Well, you've seen his temper already, but you see Zhao's temper, how quickly he can be, you know. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. And then... And then uh, we go back to, uh, to Katara and Sokka... Cuddling with Momo. Uh, no, him, Momo brings a rat. Or not cuddling with Momo, I meant cuddling with Appa. Okay. But yeah, Momo <laughs> Momo brings him a rap, uh, a rat instead of... Did they even bring him water? I don't think he brought him no. water. No. <laughs> they just want water. He's just, he's just bringing a rat. He's trying his best. To yeah, they show, to show Aang. And Aang, they show the where he's locked up. He's literally in, in a concealed tower. Yeah, like, he's in the fortress, chain. basically. And then we see the blue spirit mm-hmm. going there. It's like, who is this blue spirit? Yeah, he has two. He has swords on his back. He's uh, hiding under this cart that's going towards the the fortress. Um, I always thought this was such a cool job. Like, it's it's one of those moments where you're like, oh, are they gonna see him? And you wonder. How was he able to just get by or get into the trunk of the cart without being seen? Because maybe it's just like the laziness of the Fire Nation where like you don't have two guys. Only one guy is like going around searching while the other guy is just like standing there. I mean, it's just the it's it's the lazy person doing their job. They're not doing mm-hmm. their job correctly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, and Zhao, so he's <laughs> so full of himself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here, very quick tangent from like the live action to this one. This they make Zhao look more of like, you know, more concrete, more like a bigger leader because there's such a big crowd. He's like addressing. Well, but but ultimately, like Zhao is just like you know, it's like an he's like a path- pathetic old man, you know. Older man, and yeah, the, he's just a. Uh, you no, know, they made him more pathetic when he was just like, like boast boasting himself up and just like, there's not that many people in front of him. Oh Talk, yeah, yeah. What? He's just a. Uh, here, here he's talking to like maybe like a hundred or so. But, yeah, and 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 here is like he's more, he's a stronger, a little, like, like, commander. Exactly. So, oh, uh, and then so. Well, while Aang was being tied up, the, the frozen frogs that he had, 
He's like, uh, they became unfrozen. And so yeah, was they did the <laughs> like some is like one is just like the front legs, the ones that's just the back legs, like half of one is just like crawling. It's like it's just funny seeing each one of them like crawl out. Um and, and then uh they start crawling under the like door, right? And the guards are just like, Why are these frogs growing out? But then something happens in front of them, like one of their friends gets caught and trapped and chained up. Uh and and who is it? The blue spirit. The blue spirit. So the blue spirit goes and and in there and breaks through the door. Mm -hmm. I like how he like he hits that last one where like the guard fire bends and the blue spirit just throws the bucket of water of, on him and it, it extinguishes the flame and then he uses the bucket to trip him. Mm. Pretty great, and then he has these cool swords where it's like it looks like it was just one sword, but then he pulls out and they're like double swords, and then which terrifies Ang because he's tied up and he's coming in like he's gonna like kill him, but yeah. he goes and and breaks the chains open and frees Ang. Yeah, I always wondered how these like swords could break metal. They must be. Really I mean, I'm I'm sure it probably <laughs> could maybe depending how old the chains are. And if you hit them in the right place, yeah. <laughs> and Aang's just sad. He's like, my friends need to suck on those tree frogs. <laughs> and the blue spirit at this time is basically pulling him to helping him escape, but he's so, not even saying a word. Mm -mm. Uh, and yeah, and then we go back to Sokka and Katara, and <laughs> Momo has brought like everything, literally a bunch of junk around. times do i have to tell you momo we need water so much that even katara's wearing it wearing yeah. it around yeah he still hasn't brought the water but he's still he's still trying he's like trying to figure out what what they need at least he's making an effort exactly yeah and then, then it goes back to to ang and and uh the blue spirit which are they're going looks like they're one of the tunnels to try and escape and uh, they're able to jump out, and then it jumps to um, General. Um, I was gonna say General Iro. <laughs> Admiral Zhao. Gen Admiral Zhao. <laughs> and then he realizes that the Avatar has been missing, and what's there in for him? A little frog. <laughs> yeah, and as like it's a little speech writer is following him. To like send a letter to the Fire Lord of like his captured avatar, <laughs> and when Zhao sees the frog and then starts like running to go capture the avatar, <laughs> the scriptwriter's like, "Should I hold on that message to the Fire Lord?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and here's the here's the action part. Uh, yeah, and at at that point, then they're they're caught now. So like they mm -hmm. they know that the avatar is trying to escape. Um, with, this other, with this other person that no, probably they've never seen. So the Blue Spirit is fighting off the Fire Nation along with Aang. And they're about to just, just get to the door and the door closes them and locks them in. Yeah, it's oh, pretty cool. Yeah. It's so interesting, yeah, because the Blue Spirit, he seems to just be like, he's defending. So he's like chopping off all the, like, the spears from like the tip. It's really cool. And it's just yeah, like it's really cool, good with those you know. double swords. Yeah, it's cool. And fun and Aang does you know. does this cool move where he like l literally launches them with launches the blue spirit with air bending mm -hmm. to the top of the, the tower, uh, and then from then takes off and makes his staff like a little helicopter wings. Yeah, to try and get to the next to the next uh um yeah but easier the next to tower closer closer to the to the exit. Yeah, that's a cool cool like team team fight. They're both like fighting off like this entire fortress of firebending, firebenders. And then, then next come like these. Uh, and they, I swear, um, letters? I think this is a, a something that they used uh, way back in to to be able to climb climb mm -hmm. towers. Yeah, and the ladders. So it was like basically like a ladder that they just climb up and they run up with the the ladder and mm -hmm. then they start climbing it. So. Yeah. Ang's able to knock knock them down, and so he uses these ladders like almost like stilts to to be able to cross 
to yeah. the, the final final wall and which and on the third one they third, almost they had just it just make it they almost made it yeah they just and, like oh, finally got captured yeah basically. but and, go ahead <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> but right when they're about to get captured yeah the blue spirit like locks the two swords right around Aang's neck and uh, Admiral Zhao has no like choice but to like let them go because he can't have the avatar, you know, dead. Right. And like that, the way he says it, he's like, you know, this requires precision. So you're already knowing, like, oh, they're bringing in the archers. Right. Yeah. And it's such a cool scene. He's like, the archers, he's asking the archers, like, do you have a clean shot? And basically said, yeah. And it's such a cool shot. Like, yeah, and he's like, knock out the thief. And so uh, the archer goes, and then in slow motion, it nails uh, the blue spirit in the face and cracks his mask. Mm -hmm. And so at that point, Ang sort of looks to see who it is. Oh, and it has an idea. But yeah, then, then he takes off his mask and he's like, "Oh, it was Zuko," and so he's all scared and he's like trying to about to run away, but then realizes that he's like, "I can't leave him there," you know, because mm -hmm. um, Ang's always about helping even your enemy. I think mm -hmm. to a point, but he grabs him and then they disappear, and so, so General Admiral Zhao just lost the Avatar. Mm -hmm. He has no letter. No letter goes to, <laughs> mm -hmm. and even worse, the uh, the frog gets away from him too. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and part's... then now, now, uh, uh, Aang and Zuko are are in the forest, and Ang sitting there, and Zuko just wakes up, and so he tells them the story that he used to always, you know, when he was young, he used to always go to the Fire Nation, and had his his uh his friend named uh kuzon that mm -hmm. they used to always play and always had so much fun and then he looks back he's like um yeah, you know like, back then he's like do you think uh back then if we would have known each other back then do you think we would have been friends and so it has this little moment and mm -hmm. then uh zuko just you know zuko being zuko blasts him with fire and then jumps away and then but you see this look on his face that he's just like I guess sort of thinks about what he said for a minute. Yeah, he's contemplating. Yeah, and then Aang gets Aang grabs some more frogs, takes them to take to his friends, and then Zuko comes back to the to the ship where you see that emerald monkey from like the pirate episode, kind of. Oh yeah. And I was just like, "Hey, you missed a nice like music night." <laughs> and Zuko's like, oh, "I'm going to bed. Don't bother yeah. me." Yeah, and then Aang finally gets back to Sokka and Katara and uh, <laughs> gives them the frogs, just puts them in and, their mouth. And Sokka's sucking on that frog. Uh-huh. He's just like, I'm, I'm home. Yeah, and it's such an interesting moment because he, he, Sokka just asking, just like, hey, did you have a fun trip? Did you make any new friends? And Aang's like, no, I don't think so. And just goes slightly back to Zuko just to show the, the two dynamics. It's so interesting. Yeah, like Zuko's looking at the at the Fire Nation flag, and then so it turns his, not turns his back on it, but leans to the opposite side, turning. Yeah, and then uh, then it goes back to, after that quiet moment. Then it goes back to to Sokka and and uh, <laughs> guitar still sucking on the frogs, mm -hmm. and then frog coming back to life. <laughs> He's like, uh -huh. <laughs> they're unfrozen, and they're like, wait, what? Why are we what? we're sucking on frogs? They just <laughs> <laughs> that's such a fun episode that was a good episode hope you guys enjoyed that episode because i did mm -hmm. um it's one of my favorite i think it's it, i may have several favorites but this is one of my, my favorite ones because i like the interaction with uh with ang and the blue spirit and all the scenes and mm -hmm. and so you know sort of like zuko having to save the avatar for a minute just for self yeah. selfish interest interest but at the same time he still saves him yeah and, and then the avatar saves him 
Yeah, and it's it's one of those episodes where Zuko's figuring out and trying to see is like you know, is what I'm doing is the right thing? Is it? But like, he is he doing it for selfish reasons? What's he? Is he, he says he's always he's contemplating it. Right. It's, really, it's such a fun episode, fun action. Um, but without further ado, let's go to our first uh, section um, of the after show, <laughs> uh, the Avatar's arc. Uh, this is where we talk about our favorite animal. animal. Oh my god! And there's so animal. many animals in this episode. Yeah, yeah, right. You there's introduced a frog, a introduced bird, a, hawk, a cat. Yeah. So I mean, right, the cat was just a cat, I think. But we don't know. It could be. Oh, there could be more. It had to it be, could be cat slash saber tooth. You know, you never know. Yeah, they everything. All every animal is a hybrid, unless told otherwise. You know, like a, there's some there is a bear that's just a bear, but that's just that's the odd thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's all each animal is a hybrid. Even the frogs. I wonder if they're like some sort of a hybrid from. I mean, I think my favorite's gonna be your favorite, but my favorite is the birds. Yeah. Uh, the, like the, the bird, was like the, uh, it was like a like a hybrid. It, it's I mean, it's not. I guess you can't really call it. Maybe can you call it a hybrid? But it looks like it was just a make a bird that's mixed with a different type of bird. Oh yeah, it's probably it's a hawk, but it has it's probably mixed with some sort of other. I mean. There aren't really messenger hawks in real life. There's messenger pigeons. I don't know if this hawk technically would be a half pigeon, half hawk. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe that's what <laughs> it is. I don't know. Um, I think my my favorite animal probably would be Miyuki, the little the <laughs> cat. Okay, even that cat has like some personality. With the with the little like crazy little lady, um, but yeah. Uh, what's next? Uh, our next section is the uh, learning corner. So, what what would you say is the lesson that we can take from this episode? Hmm. The enemy of my enemy. Is my friend? No, no yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I yeah, mean, no, 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 at least for Aang, not for Aang, for uh, for Zuko. Yeah, maybe for Zuko because, like, so they're both fighting General or Admiral Zhao. They're both fighting him, but yeah, you know, technically, the Avatar is also his enemy, but at the same time, it's also his his prize because it will. It, the avatar is what will restore his honor. Exactly. No, yeah, I like that. The enemy of the enemy, my enemy is my friend. That's always that's always a good analogy. Is it an analogy? It's always good. At, it's always interesting <laughs> advice. It makes things interesting in like shows and movies and life, probably. <laughs> um, right. From there, our third section. Uh, we like to call uh, bend it like Boomy. What what is your favorite bending and non bending bending moment? Hmm. hmm. My favorite. I mean, th th my favorite moment is their escape. Yeah, which is a bending and non bending moment. Oh yeah, the best because non, the best Zuko non -bending did not moment. do bending. So yeah. Zuko was like true. because he didn't want to give away who he was. So he was not bending through the whole escape. And then That's Aang cool. was doing the bending, which yeah. he had some cool moves. His helicopter, his helicopter, uh, I don't even know what to call it. His like helicopter. Poorly, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. And then where he's like, uh, when the ladders, the guys are coming up the ladders and he just like, poof, like pushes the air and pushes them all down from the ladder. I mean, it was or, or when you realize like, because Aang made a Admiral Zhao realize how, even though he's a kid, how strong he is. Mm -hmm. Because when you know he was talking, you know, talking down to him and everything, as soon as he walked away, yeah. Aang literally blew him all the way to the door. 
yeah with just his 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 breath that's true that's true that that just shows you how, how strong gang is um but but I, have, I always have to mention like awesome non-bending moments are like all the like moments of the archers oh yeah those the archers. archers the yuyan archers are like something else hey my gosh I, I think it's crazy that we've only seen them once i think they're such cool characters and such like strong characters that they can do whatever they, they can do with a bow and arrow they literally do anything they can they're like spider-man and superhero with a bow and arrow they like hawkeye <laughs> but yeah um and on to our fourth section uh with this which is a a cup of tea with iro hmm what would iro say iro would say when you can split when you can share your tea with your enemy no wait wait hold on, hold on. I, have, I have i have it i have it i have it <laughs> why fight your enemy today when you can drink some jasmine tea with him tomorrow yeah it could, it could work <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I could say I could think of like uh, if a cup of tea with your enemy can ultimately make your enemy your friend. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah. you know what? Better, you better. Hear. Maybe one with Pai Show because he was playing on Pai Show today. So maybe he's like, "Why fight with your enemy when you can just beat him playing Pai Show?" That's true. <laughs> Pai Show. He was like, he's taking everybody's money on the ship playing Pai Show. <laughs> he was. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got his little, his little like his his sleeves where he's just like pulling it, putting in all the extra money. pieces from there. Yeah. <laughs> We know Iroh, he doesn't play I love him. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was such a fun episode. The Blue Spirit. Well, let us and know what you think. Big. And let us know what your cup of tea with Iroh phrase is in your favorite animal. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we only saw three. Unless I missed one, but I only saw three. That sounds about right. Yeah. And also your favorite bending and non-bending moment. Yeah. Let us know your favorite moments and put them down in the little comment sections down there. And there. <laughs> yeah. Hope you guys had a, a fun time. And we'll see you all on the next one. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.